Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate a door in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, now before we start animating uh, the door, first I want to show you how to draw it and how to set it up. So, the first thing you need to do is make a bone layer for it, or a group layer, doesn't really matter, but uh, let's call it room. And then we just put a vector layer in it click on it and we name it floor so first we draw the floor so uh, I just choose this color or this one right here take the draw shape tool um, and then just draw a um, floor like this just very simple and then we are also going to draw a wall make a layer for it uh, just choose a color uh, just this one there we go so there we go uh, then we create the door we make a new layer for it we call it door for that I'm going to pick the color brown and we just draw it right here there we go so now uh, in order to get a opening behind it because right now you only have a wall uh, we are going back to the wall layer and we just add some points to the line of the wall right here and we take the transform points tool and we move it right here and make sure it's in line with with the door of course there we go like this and do the same with the other Alright, so now when you have done that, and you make the door invisible, you see that an opening has been created. So now we have created a door, very simple. Um, so then what we do, we, uh, we make a new layer, and we call it doorknob. And it is important that you have to make a separate layer for that. So I just pick a color, this one right here, take the draw shape tool, deselect auto stroke, and just draw a sh shape. Oh, make sure you choose oval and just draw a oval right here. There we go. Put it a little bit there. There we go. So now finally we have to make another layer and we call it door two. And I take the eyedropper tool and I just pick the same color as of the door, but I make the fill color a little bit more dark. <coughs> And then I take the draw shape tool and I just uh, make sure all the strokes selected and choose rectangle and just draw a shape right here next to the door. Uh, just to make sure that the points are connected with each other. Move it a little bit so it's straight. There we go. So um, now, uh, of course, we can't uh, just let it like it is, uh, but we need this for when we start animating it. So we just select these points left right here and we just move them to the right. There we go. So we just leave it um, for it, well, how it is. And we are also going to make them. Uh, we put them below the other points, so what you do, uh, you just click and you move this point down below, so it's below this point, and then you do the same with this one. So, it's not really visible right now. So, and you can make it invisible if you want, so you don't see it at all, and then you make it visible when you start animating. But anyway, um, so now we have drawn it, um, very simple. Uh, now we are going to start with animating. Uh, before we start with animating, one thing is very important. You have to go to the door layer. And you see that there's a cross right here. And if you take the set origin tool, and you click right here, the cross is here. And we need to have the cross right here. That is important. So... <coughs> 
then we go to the bone layer and we take the add bone tool and I made a, I made a mistake you do need to have a bone layer for it uh, so it, ca it can be with a group layer uh, just draw a bone right here and then we take the bone strength tool and we just reduce the bone strength of it then we take the select bone tool and we just uh, give it a name we name the bone door and then by clicking on show label it gets visible and then finally by bone constraints we click on angle constraints so you get this right here so now we are going to window actions and we click right here to make a new action and we call it door the same as the bone okay then we go to frame uh, 24 of the timeline and you see it has become blue if you don't know anything about bones and actions and so on uh, I have uh, previous previous tutorials about that so uh, I will put links of those tutorials uh, in the description below but anyway if you are already familiar with, with it uh, let's start um, first like I said we go to frame 24 and we move the bone to the left so now we go to the door the door layer and remember when I said that you have to put this uh, across uh, right here if we take this tool the rotate layer tool and we move and we now we click and we just move to the right you see it moves and it moves from this point so it really looks like the door is getting open and this is going it's not going perfect but we just have to adjust it make sure it's straight so let's see how it looks so now we have this there we go so now we already have a door that is getting open so <clears throat> then we uh, are going to animate the doorknob and we just um, use the transform points tool and what we do we hold in shift and then we move it with the mouse and by holding shift it gets in a straight line there we go make sure it's straight with the door like this and then finally I will put this like this so it's it gets smaller and so now we get this effect obviously it's not going the way we want but that's okay we just need to adjust a few things we just move it a little bit closer every now and then and maybe a little bit here and then finally if we now if we look it already looks better <clears throat> so now uh, we are going to start with the door 2 layer this is the hardest part um, before we start we make it visible right here there we go and then we go to frame 24 and we select the whole object right here take the transform points tool and we're basically doing the same thing we just move it right here so it's in line with the door layer and then we just make sure that these points are connected with each other there we go like this and finally what we do then we take this just just these points right here and then hold and shift move it so it goes in a straight line like this and then we move these lines straight so make sure just to make sure everything is good right here maybe make this line a little bit more up there we go so 
I assume that it uh, isn't working already because if you look obviously obviously it's not working but that's okay we can adjust that we just have to go uh, through the frames and just correct them as we as uh, as they should so let's start right here just move them like this and make sure that you don't touch, uh, make sure that when you uh, select these points with the transform points tool, make sure you're, you're doing it like this. Don't take the points separately, like this, because if you do that, the lines are going to get messy and it's not going to, it's not going to look well. So make sure you do that. Um, there we go. And we just need to adjust it like this. So what I will do, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to adjust it. I'm just going through all the frames and adjust it, uh, adjust the door, uh, adjust the two door layers to each other. So I just, I will speed it up, and then I will be back in a minute. Okay, there we go. So now I have adjust all these frames. You can see I have created a bunch of frames because you need to correct it in order to make sure it's all straight like this. So then uh, now that we've done that, it's uh, looking far more better. So if we go back to the main line, make sure that the bone is to the yeah to the left yeah. Everything is good, so go back to the main line, and we just take the manipulate bone tool, and if we move it, we can open the door just by moving this bone. So uh, there you go. That's how I animate doors. Uh, I hope you guys uh, would find this helpful. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, thanks guys. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.